Just think, Max, one of these innocent-looking toys may hold the key to unlocking another terrifying psychic power. I bet it's the giraffe. I don't trust anything with a longer neck than mine. In the future, all these toys are still here, unbought and unloved. That's kind of sad. It's their own fault for not being more fun. It's not a welfare state, Sam. <laughs> so you have found me at last, freelance police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> so you have found me at last, freelance police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Engines to full power! Yes! Destroy the city! Look familiar? I certainly hope that you are paying attention, my friends, because our story seems to have hurtled to its inevitable conclusion. No longer can you blindly mash buttons to unleash a torrent of irreverent banter and comic mischief. Now you are all that stands in the way of the total annihilation of the planet Earth. The villain has made his move. The players are yours to command. Only you can return General Skunkape to the penal zone. <laughs> Sam and Max, don't tell me Skunkape wants you guys to be his love slaves too. You'd be surprised just how many fetishes there are that involve Sam and me. What are you doing locked in here, Stinky? I've got no idea. I assumed it was Grandpa Stinky's fault. Did you lose your cell phone? Ugh, hang on a second. I am your love monkey. <laughs> yes. Hi, Skunkabe. I see you. That's very clever. <sighs> He's been texting me non-stop. I tried to throw the phone away just to get away from it. How is this Grandpa Stinky's fault? He's been going on and on about Skunkabe ever since he landed. That's the kind of gentleman you should get involved with. He's got a future. Ugh. Can you call for help on your fancy futuristic phone? I already tried that when you guys were knocked out. There's no signal off this spaceship. Why aren't you out there on your throne? Yeah, isn't Skunk Ape your boyfriend? You. He wishes. He is so not my type. You only have to date an evil gorilla once to learn never to make that mistake again. Oh, we've all been there, girlfriend. You gotta stay away from Skunk Ape. The guy's a total butthorn. You're telling me? I was just going to meet my... to meet a friend at the top of the Empire State Building. Then all of a sudden this giant gorilla shows up and carries me off to be his queen or something. Gee, you'd think a hyper-intelligent alien could've come up with something more original. I'm not buying this super-advanced technology business if they haven't even mastered the technique of margaritas and unexpected car trouble. I think you're being too hard on Skunk Ape. He's just misunderstood. Oh yeah? Uh, did I misunderstand this picture he sent me? Good heavens! I think I should put on some clothes now. Well, Skunk Ape's got a lot of good points, too. Name one. He's got his own spaceship. I noticed. That may impress you boys, but... And the keys to your cage, so he could let you out. But then she wouldn't be able to talk to us anymore! Yoo-hoo! General Skunkape! We 
You're all set, Max. Now we've just got to get out of this cage so we can wrap this case up once and for all. Take that! Die, Earthlings! Die! <laughs> well done, Freelance Police. Now, you must place the homing beacon on Skunkape's back to trap him in the penal zone. We're on it. Now light up those toys. The hell? Looking for these. Uh-oh. Your future viewer has proven to be most enlightening. <laughs> Here, use it to witness how I am going to destroy you. So, what was our plan B again? I believe you planned to turn on the dimensional destabilizer, yes? Luckily, I have my own. But I've still got the homing beacon. Exactly. <laughs> Can you believe that guy? Skunk Ape knew what we were going to do the whole time. He just wanted to rub our noses in the penal zone, so to speak. I don't like being in the penal zone, Sam. You're not supposed to, Max. It's a horrible plane of non-existence forever trapped between reality and unreality. Yeah, that, and also that beeping noise is really getting on my nerves. Turn around, Max. Skunk Ape strapped an antimatter bomb on your back while we were out cold. Get rid of it. Jeez, what a jerk. We've got to get out of here, Max. Pronto. Gotcha! Welcome back, sirs. Uh, what just happened? I detected a spike in antimatter radiation, so I locked onto the signal from your homing beacon and reversed the polarity of the dimensional stabilization field to intercept- Yeah, yeah. Just tell us how we can get back at Skunk Ape for crimes against the Freelance Police and humanity. I say let's cover him in candy bar wrappers and feed him to starving raccoons! You failed to trap him in the penal zone? I wouldn't say failed, exactly. Uh, maybe underperformed. And we blew up the penal zone with an antimatter bomb! Oh, dear. How can I help, Sam and Max? Dr. Mama Bosco has been granted the fullest security clearance possible for a dead citizen, Mr. President. How are we going to stop Skunk Ape now? With the penal zone destroyed, we have no way to return him to prison. Unless... you could make another penal zone somewhere else. I smell a convoluted plan coming on. With a side order of hand-waving technical nonsense. Extra crispy. Before I made the destabilizer, I was working on a dimensional rift generator. It doesn't open a gateway to another dimension, it actually creates another dimension. Only problem is, you'll have to find a nexus of ley lines somewhere for it to work. A place where the border between reality and nonsense has broken down. There happens to be one of those in the city, ma'am. It's at 1313 Straight Street. That address sounds familiar. That's our building. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. We'll be careful with your rift generator, Mama Bosco. Just make sure you don't turn it on until you've got that homing beacon on General Skunkapi. Teleportation. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. The power's out in the whole building. 